Hello, my internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, bringing you yet another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today's is about the new version of Chief Architect X17, which is still in beta version, but it is publicly available uh, for download if your subscription is current. And today's tip, I want to go into a little bit about project management. This is a new feature that Chief Architect is offering. And for now, the reasons why I'm not going to use it, but it is a cool feature. Um, you'll notice that in the project browser over here, we have the ability to uh, create and track projects here. We can also, uh, let's see here. track folders. We can make this, um, make these, uh, like almost have a, um, uh, status report. So you could do it by, let's say, um, client like tags. Um, there's just, there's just several things we could do here with this. Let's start off with uh, what, what, what I want to do here. Let's start off with creating a new file, a new project. And if I want to do a new project, I can tell it I want it in US units or millimeters. And let's call this uh, let's call it Jones just for kicks and I'm going to include the plan and a layout and it will uh, yes I know it was created by a different version here um, it will allow you to do multiple uh, file names like that uh, or project names. We can right click on this and we can create a new folder in the in the uh, project chief files and then I can drag these into the folder like so. One of the benefits of this um, project in file management is that let's say we have this like so we have the plan file and I want to send this to layout uh, let's do this this is going to be confusing I'm going to open DBS test, but in the Jones folder here, let's do, actually, let, let me back up. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete this project. Because having two names was confusing here. All right, so Jones, I've got the Jones existing V1 uh, plan file open, and I'm going to send this to layout. Now, it automatically picks up that there's a Jones SDV1 layout file in this project. Even though I have the DBS test layout open, that's in a different project. So that's one thing. It does not allow plan views and layout views to um, uh, So one of the benefits of this project management system is that 
the plans and layouts are really inextricably linked together. If I am going to send this Jones existing V1 to layout, uh, I can do send to layout and it automatically, even though the Jones SDV1 layout file is not open, it knows that we're in the Jones project and that's the only uh, layout file in that project. I do have the DBS test layout file open, but that's in a different project. So that could be a good thing. I'm 50-50 on this one. It could be a good thing and it could be a frustrating thing because there isn't really a way that I've been able to tell so far um, that you could have like a warehouse type file with all your details and just reuse that that like boilerplate file to send to common details to layout. You'd have to copy that uh, detail file to every project. Not Not the worst thing in the world, but Okay, um, so let's do go ahead and send this to the layout here. I'm going to do quarter inch scale, and there it is. Let's do this. Oh, it's already on page two. Okay. So the fact that it is inextricably linked does give us an advantage not that I've ever had to do this, um, but it's an interesting thing. Uh, let's add another file. And may maybe, uh, I'm sorry, another folder. Maybe um, you do it this way. I just don't do it this way. Um, I keep all of my versions of my plan files in the same chief files folder. And it's always worked for me. So I don't have any troubles with that. Uh, one benefit is if we right click on this folder, project folder, we can close, we can open all the plans and layouts. We can close all the plans and layouts and we can save just with one um, command. We can save all the plans and layouts that we might have open here. Okay. I'm going to do a new folder here and um, just because maybe maybe I want to move this, keep just the um, current files in this chief folder. Uh, let's rename that and call this archive. Maybe you want to do it that way. You want to keep the chief files folder clean. I can drag this existing V1. It's open up here. It's connected to the layout. And I'm going to drag it. Let's zoom in on this here. I'm going to drag it to my archive folder. So it's now in the archive folder. This is clean. But I still have that file open. And it is still connected to the uh, layout. So the file name isn't uh, the box is not dependent upon the folder necessarily here. So if I relink, notice it's already picked up that archive folder. It's still following Jones existing V1. So that's that's maybe an advantage there. Um, the disadvantage that I see is this right here. When you do your backups, let's say I was to create a backup here. Backup managed resources. And I save my user library. Now my managed resources does include the user library, I'm pretty sure. I go into my folder here. Uh, it can't find these files. 
Interesting. I wonder why. I'll have to look into that. These backup, each backup is f almost 500 megabytes. Every backup. Now that's new. That's only 49 megabytes. Versus, let's go into documents, X16 data. So you do have the archive still for each project as you normally would do. Um, I'm going to look into this further. The, the backups were 500 megabytes and that was humongous. Oh, no, I take that back. There it is. 468 megabytes. It's still, it's still the, the backup to, to save the backups is, is humongous, um, which takes up a lot of, of space. Um, I don't know how I'd, like it would also take up, I use Carbonite to back up my, uh, you know, cloud back up my hard drive. Um, that to me would be a, a, uh, major drawback for this, uh, managed resources. If it had, if it had the capability to save these maybe share these uh with another user i might use it but it doesn't have that yet so i want to show you how to you can do file system the old way or this managed resources way how to change this i'm going to go well let's close all the documents first close all the plans and layouts and close this one Go to Edit Preferences, and under pro General Project Management, um, it does have the capability to back up the managed resources every uh, day at midnight and keep the last two weeks. So with just these one, two, three, four, five um, folders that I've played around with is 500 megabytes. Right now, I have uh, 27 projects with that client and I do need to go change some of my uh, archive a lot of my folders, but 115 uh, projects with this, it's like that. I can't imagine how big that 500 megabytes would turn into um, if we did a backup every time. Because this backup, if we go into the backup, you can see the projects and get all of this data saved but my goodness that would be a lot maybe you retain fewer backups here's the trick though um, if you don't want this go into that preferences general project management and uncheck use chief architect project management that will get you back to the old way of just doing it by file and we'll click ok now, when you do that, you don't want to do that middle, uh, mid project without exporting maybe that project. Would you like to back up managed resources? I'm going to say no, because I just did that. Done. I suppose that would 
also back up the library is that yeah it would back up your trash and user library but again i can do that with with carbonite i can back up my user library so i've got that available now we're back to just our standard um file format system uh, in Chief Architect. If you do go the managed resources route, you do have to import your current files into that. Um, and maybe that's another video, how you can deal with file your file resources and, and importing. Uh, but that's, that's one new way that, one new feature in Chief Architect X17. Hope this is helpful and you found it interesting. If you like this, click like and subscribe. I'll be releasing more videos about the new version X17 in the near future. Until next time, take care.